Hey Smokers, Draga1 here, and today we're going to be figuring out what the hell to do with this. Now I'll be honest, the last time I used this in the 420 Power Mac G5 video, it didn't turn out so well. In fact, it didn't even feel like an SSD at all. It felt like a failing hard drive. And so I figured, well, we gotta... shit. We gotta do something else with this uh, that would... Better utilize share more utilizes its capability as a, as a functional solid state drive. Plugging this into SATA on a Power Mac G5 just gives problems. It might work with other SSDs, but for some reason they don't seem to like this. So I guess power putting it in a Power Mac G5 in the more ideal configuration is not really an option. So since we can't put this in a Power Mac G5 and anything earlier than that is not going to accept it either. We're going to have to figure out something else to do with it. Hey, maybe we can put it in an old school iPod! Oh wait, SATA connector won't work with these. Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, I got it! We'll put it in the IBM ThinkPad X301! Wait a minute. This already has an SSD in it. Okay, never mind. I could install it into my main PC and use it as a swap drive or a drive for running specific applications with higher performance. But that's boring. I can't really demonstrate that very easily without it being snooze town. I could plug it into a drive sled and copy files to it? It works! Oh, I know! Let's put it in this junky old Dell Tower and install Windows 98 on it! So what do we got here? We got a Pentium 2, we got some RAM, we got a video card, we got a SCSI card, uh, some hard disks we won't use. I really want to throw this away. Alright, so let's get down to business. Let's unplug this. I won't be needing this. There we go. So let's take this out of our little safety bag. Ah, oh, shit! God damn it, SATA to IDE adapter. You're like a drug I just can't quit. <laughs> Hopefully plug this in the right way. And it's floating. No need for these. So you're probably wondering, hey Draga, why don't you just put this SSD in the Windows 98 machine and clone all the data and games over? Well, I'm gonna. But first, I need to see how Windows 98 handles on the SSD to see if it's just as terrible performance rise with this IDE adapter. So if it takes nine years to install and six weeks to boot, I might as well just throw this shit away. Why is it so noisy? Shit! Where's the power button? Ah! Alright, so before we get too crazy with this whole Windows 98 install thing, uh, we gotta see if it even detects the SSD first. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Oh my god. Okay, we got it! Sandus SSD P432 Gigabyte! Oh yeah! Uh, that just sounds sad. Good gravy, that's loud. Alright, 400 megahertz Pentium 2 processor, 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, let's go to boot, quick boot mode disabled, let's enable that because we're probably going to be restarting this a lot. First boot device, let's move this up, there we go. Move that up. Alright, cool. So now it's going to try to boot off to the CD drive. 
Let's see if we can format it. Ooh, oh, shit. It's working. Boop from CD-ROM. Uh, let's start with CD-ROM support. I'm gonna, I have to unplug this fan before I kill myself. Save me, Celery! Sweet silence. Does it feel warm in here to you? <sighs> Probably nothing. Heat sink's big enough. I'm sure passive cooling is more than a possibility. Yes, I'm nervous, okay? It's, it's gonna break. Let's install Windows 98 quickly here. Uh, see? At this. Yes. Yes, yes. Verifying drive integrity. This is getting good. You wish to make the maximum blah 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 Yes. You must restart your system blah blah blah. <laughs> no, that's fine. Don't worry, it'll live. It's just fine, see? <laughs> it's cooler than I am. If I had a dollar for every time I've done this, I'd probably have about forty dollars. So let's go right to the setup. I actually had to pull the SSD out and format it with another computer because apparently FDS didn't even want to touch NTFS. Currently we're going to be rolling with FAT32, which is appropriate considering that the drive is 32 gigabytes in size. Alright, let's do it. Uh, yes. Yes. Why does this look so yellow? Why doesn't the mouse work? Why am I complaining? Continue. So what's happening, guys? We're installing Windows 98. Where else? Now, of course, we always want to max out our... Why isn't the mouse working? We always want to max out our Windows 98 installation, but trying to do this with the keyboard is going to be kind of hard because... All right. I don't really need web TV for Windows. It's called Netflix, damn it. Computer name Dell. <laughs> Description why. Interestingly enough, every time I've installed this, I've been pretty uncomfortable. Maybe for the first time, I will actually sit back and. I'm gonna let you finish, but that was the fastest Windows 98 install of all time. Of all time! So now is the moment of truth. Will it boot off of the hard drive? Mm, yes. Let's do it. Ooh. My mouse still doesn't work. What the fuck? Okay, the keyboard still does. Now, before you all assume that I just went and willy-nilly pirated this copy of Windows, let me just drive the point home that not only did I use myself a legitimate CD to install my Windows 98, I actually have myself a certificate of authenticity. And it's actually real. 
and I don't just got one. I got two of them. Oh, yeah. Looks like my product key worked. Okay, so it wasn't actually done installing Windows 98. I gotta say, this is the least painful and quickest Windows 98 installation I've ever done. <laughs> Restart now. General protection fault in my ass. Okay, so thank God. We got past the error message. It's still going. I was, I was a little bit worried. It's getting pretty hot in here. Processor's up to 122. Oh God, I'm gonna have to plug that fan back in. Or else we're not gonna be able to finish the video. But the real question is, will the fan... Shit, we're in the middle of an installation. Ugh. Will the fan... Oh God, my favorite part it's stuck there. All right. So the fan needs to get plugged back in here while the computer's on. Whew. Thank God. Now let's watch those temps plummet. Uh, okay, so I'm a little worried. Wait a minute. Shit. Maybe this fan sucks. It's not doing anything! The temp is sort of dropping. That's it. I'm too nervous. We need a fan in here. Oh my god, it's even noisier! Oh. Hey! It's working! It's working! Look at this thing! Oh, my mouth works! It's a miracle! Come on, you're almost there. Holy crap. Don't knock the fan method, man. Or maybe it was just this started doing its job. Oh, fuck it. Oh my god, this part takes forever! Whoa, I still caught it. Now, you know, this fan's probably so good I can unplug the CPU fan and be a little bit quieter. There we go. Ta da! Oh no, the drivers. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay. Why didn't you just do that originally? It probably spent the past, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes looking for drivers and setting everything up, and it just now wants to install the monitor? The thing that already worked? <laughs> but it booted, yeah. No drivers, but, you know, that's not really the point here. The point is to show that every time Windows starts and closes this out, because it's annoying. Uh, no. Registration will register later, man. Get this shit out of here. Mm -hmm. It works, so. What the hell is this? Okay. U.S. Robotics 56K Windows... what? Uh, display adapters... again... Windows 98, here's C. There's our 29.7 gigs, working. So it looks like the installation on the SSD was successful. Uh, so the only question is, how long does it take to boot? Well, we'll find out in a second. Two colors? Yeah, let's do that. Nope. Actually, I really don't want to. That's probably going to fuck everything up. Damn it. Sucks not having drivers. Okay, so let's restart it. Before we do, I unplug that fan and just let this thing work and do its job and look where we're at. 87. 
<laughs> not bad. Yes, yes, I know. That's just the temperature of the heat sink, not the core temperature. But at least we brought it back down again. Okay, so before we can do a reliable boot test, we got to move the hard drive up to the first slot there, so it just boots right off of it. We have the hard drive set to that, which is what we want. Movable devices. Oh yeah, the the other drive that's looking at the add-in card that is the zip disk drive. I didn't I didn't know that. So. Or at least that's what it said. That's what it showed up as in my computer, anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and exit saving changes. And when it reboots, we're gonna start this little clock here. When I see the BIOS screen, I'm gonna do it. Not yet. Not yet. Really, it hasn't even started booting yet, so you could probably just shave off the first 20 or so seconds. Start at 21. It's just now starting to use the hard disk. I think it actually started up in two color mode. Damn it. It did. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So, minus 20. It's about uh, 50 or so I can boot up. Something like that. So, I mean, it's not as fast as the SD card in the Windows 2000 machine. Uh, I bet you it's just as fast as an IDE. Uh, regular hard disk from that era. It felt like it was a little faster though. I got the setup in probably like we're done in like an hour. Maybe I, I'm not. I'm not really sure, but um, we're doing pretty good. The CPU temp is uh, got down to it's around hovering about 88. So that old fan is a piece of crap. It's probably not doing any good anyway. So uh, there you have it. Uh, SSD. Uh, Windows 98 installed on SSD. It's an actual SSD. It's not an SD card, so but it's still running through the SATA the IDE adapter, which just really slows things down. But at least it's not throwing up all over itself like it was on the 420 video, which was pretty bad. I've never actually used Windows 98 in two-color mode. But it's a little bit eerie. Um, well, that looks kind of horrific. our little friend. Oh, there he is. Well, that's all we have to look at today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if there's uh, anything else you think I should do with this computer before I get rid of it, let me know because uh, I really don't really have any plans hanging on to this hunk of junk. I will say that it is a very stable, uh, very stock factory by the book textbook Windows 98 installation experience with the exception of it not having drivers, but it was, uh, went out without a hitch. Perfect install. Uh, didn't crash or fail to install or anything of like that. It just works. So, um, I wonder if paint has a different palette now. It does! Changing the, I didn't know that, changing the actual color scheme of, uh, windows sets paint to now have a different, well, I can't really see the symbols anymore, but... So basically, we're, we're using Mac Paint now. It's patterns instead of colors, which is interesting. Colors, edit colors. Define custom colors.
Oh my god, look at all this. You can choose from all different kinds of patterns. That's essentially all it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and hopefully pretty soon here I will get a video out about doing this exact same thing. But with the Windows 98 machine. I will do a before and after SSD experience. Meaning that similar to the Power Mac or Mac Pro video in, uh, from a couple weeks ago. Uh, I will start up the computer, time it with how it runs on a mechanical drive, and then I'm going to uh, clone the data over to that. And then I'm going to uh, boot that and see how the boot time differs. So uh, expect that either next week or later on. I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to get it done, but uh, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be fun, and uh, you'll get to see uh, if this thing really does speed up anything at all, or just keeps it the same or makes it really, really crappy. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you later.